What is up guys, your Redos, your boy Kagi, back at it again with a new video. And in this video, I bring you the great migration, the great Axie Infinity migration. We've been waiting for this for so long. Holy crap, let's get right into it. Make sure you like, make sure you comment with any scams, and make sure you subscribe to this channel with all notifications on. You already know, this is the best channel in the world. Let's get it, baby. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the great migration. First things first, I'm going to jump right into the meat of things. You want to migrate your axis to running. So you're going to click on this link or check out my video on the top right of this video. It's going to pop up. So if you want to transfer, um, you're going to see something like this in your dashboard. And then you want to transfer it to run. You click on this and then you transfer your things to running. Very, very simple. Now, the next thing you want to do is transfer your assets, Ethereum, AXS, SLP into running. I also have a video on that, so make sure you check it out on the top right of this video. If you're new to Axie Infinity, if you're new to Axie Infinity, I also have a video on this giving you the full tutorial how to download running, how to download MetaMask, and how to do the whole process. So it should pop up on the top right as well. So there you have it. We also got a short tutorial right here by Gho's from Axie Infinity Growth Lead. My friend, what's up, my friend? Um, <laughs> Gho's competing with the boy Kagi. You already know. You already know how it is. All right, so there are some key changes and some future changes. Very, very important. Number one, the breeding fee has changed from 0.005 ETH to one AXS. So instead of paying ETH, now you pay an AXS. That might change uh, depending on the fluctuation of AXS, um, the fluctuation of the market, whatever. Number two change, very, very important. Axis no longer require transactions to grow from juvenile stages. Five days after an Axie is bred, you will click on a button to morph your Axie from egg to adult. This means genes will be revealed after five days. All current larvae are now eggs. All petites are now adults. That is huge. That is huge. That means that now we can speculate on Axies and eggs. We can actually speculate. Now we don't have the full picture because before you could see your Axie and everything that it had before it became an adult. That's something that I was very critical about. And and I'm glad that they made that change because now we can speculate. Now you could be like, okay, these are the parents. These are the chances of that actually getting um, these DNA, but I still don't know if it still has it. So now you can transact based on that speculation. So I like that. I like that very much. Now, Japanese axes can no longer be bred. They are retired. That is crazy. That means that if you have a Japanese axie, now you have a rare axie. And if you don't have one, make sure you check them out because I'm guessing they might go up in price. The old Axie contracts on Ethereum have been paused. This includes the marketplace contract, the breeding contract, and morphing contract. The Axies you had listed for sale have been delisted, so you need to put them up again on the running marketplace. The old Axie tokens are now non-transferable fossils that detonate, denote, detonate, come on, Kagi, denote your participation in a golden age of NFT exploration. Less than 50,000 addresses will ha will ever have this token serving as a badge of honor. Congrats. Thank you. SOP has been rebranded to Smooth Love Potion. Really? Is this a troll? That's a troll. That has to be a troll. All right, so what is coming? Very, very important. Fiat gateway to onboard people. Easy, because right now we got a transfer from MetaMask into running. So as you can see, it's grayed out right here and swapping as well as grayed out. So that's going to be huge, huge, huge. Mobile migration. We're working on a running mobile application very, very soon. Mobile soon, mobile soon. A running DEX, you, like I said right here, a DEX, bam, swap. Amazing, amazing. You're going to be able to do everything inside running. Running to Ethereum bridge for Axis. You will be able to send your Axis back to Ethereum if you like that in the future. Why would you want to do that? It's very, very simple. Um, the Ethereum network is the most secure network versus, you know, everything that is sidechain and all of that. So it's very, very important that if, let's say, you're going on vacations for one year, two years, you'd never want to touch Axis again. I don't know why would you do that, but if you do that, then you bring them back to Ethereum, you save them in Ethereum, and then now you have your assets more secured in ethereum axs airdrop last year they took a snapshot of every single wallet um until a certain point and we're getting some axs airdrop we have not forgotten about the airdrop let's go let's go it's coming algorithmic breeding calculations in the future along with governance okay okay we will use an um, 
we'll use the amount of excess and SLP required to breed to make sure that axiac population is growing at a healthy rate. The rate must be fast enough to accommodate new users, but not as fast that owning a real axiac doesn't feel special. Very important. You gotta, those are things that if it's too many axes in the market, then it's kind of like whatever, right? If it's too little, then you got all this price spike people don't come in so it's it's not easy this is not an easy task expanding the 100 transaction account per limit we're currently working on systems to allow power users to use more that's amazing so that's pretty much it guys um this is amazing make sure you check out the tutorials make sure you you get into this game this game is gonna blow up hard like I, I, I see I see this in five years. Literally, Pokemon, well, you got nothing on us, baby. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. It's your boy Kagi. Much love. Bye bye.